Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 914 now. Georgia's top employers will be recruiting to fill 9,500 open positions. We're talking about technology, education, retail, government, you name it. It's all for Congressman David Scott's 16th annual jobs fair. Congressman Scott joins me now along with U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue. So welcome both to Good Day. Glad you're here. Good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, yeah. and thank you for having us. Thank you to Good Day Atlanta for your longtime partnership <laughs> with our job. Fair, and it's so great to be on with my good <laughs> friend. And you know, we served in the state senate together many oh, wow. years. Oh, wow. Go way back. Huh? He was the president of the senate. I was chairman of the rules committee. And between us, well, we had a lot to do with a lot of the progress. <laughs> but, but I do want to mention uh, uh, that we now, my staff just told me, Chandra just told me, 147 companies. Companies oh, well. are going to be at the job That's fair, amazing. and uh, they're looking to fill over 10,000 jobs. What an opportunity, right? If you're Absolutely. looking for a job, yes. or maybe wanting to uh, to get a different job, this is the perfect opportunity for you. So we mentioned specifically, you know, retail, government, more, also agriculture jobs Absolutely. as well, right? In, indeed, and the fact there are a lot of high tech jobs in agriculture these days. It's amazing what Precision Agriculture is doing, and actually, uh, Congressman Scott had was succeeded in the farm bill for having scholarships in the uh, historically black colleges and universities in order to enable them to qualify for even more. So that's exciting. And what is so unique about that program is that Democrats and Republicans mm -hmm. came together and accomplished that. And leading the way with Democrats and Republicans right here in Georgia, mm -hmm. not just myself, but here we got the Agriculture Secretary from Georgia and Sonny played a pivotal a role in helping us to get that 80 million and Senator David Perdue. I want to give him great recognition. He picked up the ball in the Senate because they took part of that money out and made it discretionary. Mm -hmm. But Senator Perdue helped us to get 40 million of it in the bank right now. Well, and the of. other, yeah, it is. Right. And uh, so it, it is perhaps the single most and in my estimation, certainly as far as African-American colleges and universities, mm -hmm. to get $80 million for the 19 land-grant colleges and universities, only God Almighty could mm -hmm. do something like that yeah. and pull Democrats and Republicans together to get it done and, and, it uh, and it to make it happen. Make a difference. Yeah, make I want to talk specifically about, about how to prepare for the job fair. If, if someone's never been before, what should they keep in mind? How should they get ready for this? Well, first of all, I always say the three Ps, which is pre preparation, mm -hmm. presentation, and prayer. <laughs> if you do three those P's. three things, though, and you present, see the whole thing, people have technology now, they say go online, but hey, when you have a chance to show your physical presence, eyeball, 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 shake a hand, eyeball. right? right. Yeah. And, and an employer sees you, not as a computer log or yeah. something, but you see as a human being. They see your sparkling personality. You're able to communicate, and you can sell yourself. Sell yourself. Yeah. That's right. That's, That's a good right. point. That yeah. really is a good point. I want to ask you specifically, uh, Secretary Purdue, about we had a story on Friday just talking about how how farmers have been really hard hit yes. in South Georgia because of Hurricane Michael. Right. So how is recovery? Going? Well, obviously it's slow. We uh, we've been waiting. Obviously, Congressman Scott and uh, Senator Purdue have been working on a disaster bill along with. Uh, Congressman Sanford Bishop as well for Georgia and the Southeast, now the Midwest as for hurricanes, wildfires, and floods. So uh, it's been a hold up right now, but I hope we can get it done very soon. They need it. It's planning time, and uh, people need to know what kind of help they're going to get. Yeah. And I want to say one thing about that because I am now the chairman, since we're on the house side, mm -hmm. of the financial arm of the Agriculture Committee. Uh, the financial exchanges, commodities, uh, credit energy the whole nine yards so it comes to us we're going to have a hearing and this hearing is going to be to examine what went down so we can look at this we have farmers in georgia mm -hmm. that haven't had a crop 
since 2015. Wow. Because of the back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. And so we're going to have a hearing there to determine what's going on with the climate change. Everybody's got their attitude. We need to be responsible for our farmers and bring those in. And then, at the same hearing, we need to find out, since you have these, never again should our farmers be in such dire need and we're not able to get them the emergency sure. help immediately. And Senator Perdue on the Senate side, us on the House side, we're working to do it. But my goal is, and I hope and I know, and uh, Sonny and I have talked about this, let's set up a separate fund for emergency response and not have it go through the CR or the appropriations process where everybody can jump on and hijack it and make it something that it's not mm -hmm. and get this aid to the farmers that they need it. Yeah, right. they do. Would make go a long way in helping them and it could go a long way in helping yourself if you're looking for a job and are able to attend uh, Congressman David Scott's 16th annual jobs fair. Again, that is Friday from 10 to 3 at the Georgia International Convention Center in College Park and we have a link to all of the information that you need on our website, fox5atlanta.com. Again, a very special thank you to Congressman Scott and Secretary Perdue thank you, Elise. for coming in today. Yeah, I enjoyed visiting with both of you. Thank you. So thank good you. to see you again as so well. So good to see you. I'm sure you. you're expecting a lot Wonderful. of people to come to this, right? Oh, yeah, where the lines are busy <laughs> now. Everybody's coming in. And I especially want to thank my good friend, Sonny Perdue. I can Be feel the love. I can feel <laughs> the friendship. People Go a long called way in. Back. We couldn't have got it. Done. <laughs> yeah. Without Teamwork. him being Secretary Agriculture. Making it work. Thank, Thank you.